It was like the Wild West this morning in the Farber's Road area near Kruman Road when a police chase ended with a shootout between law enforcement officers and a group of armed men. The crossfire occurred on Kruman Road near its intersection with the George Price Highway and soon after the mobile police unit was able to apprehend the driver of the vehicle. Three others managed to escape. Police officers um, were patrolling the Farber's Road area when they tried to stop a white SUV. Um, the SUV took off and went through the Kruman Road area and came to a stop. <coughs> when the vehicle came to a stop, three gunmen alighted the vehicle and opened fire at the police. The police responded, but the men managed to escape. The vehicle eventually sped off with the driver alone in it, and again the police continued the pursuit, and uh, the vehicle was caught on Lacroix Boulevard and inside the vehicle police found the driver Erwin Castillo and inside the vehicle they found a number of items believed to have been stolen from the area of waste control. At the time of the shootout and subsequent apprehension of Erwin Castillo, police were not aware that the men had just burglarized the solid waste transfer station at mile 3. Just after 4 a.m. today, they got through the chain link fence at the rear of the compound, bound the security guard before forcing themselves into the building. There was a forced entry onto the compound. Um, from what I understand, they, they caught the security off guard. Um, they held him um, at gunpoint, uh, at which point the other uh, assailants came in. They, for, they gained entry into the, into the office here via the, um, the rear entrance. Um, they took a couple things. At the moment, we are still trying to take stock of inventory, what, what was actually taken and what wasn't. The watchman from Waste Control reported that the said vehicle with four occupants went there. They tied him up and they then proceeded to burglarize the building and took a number of items. So again, quick police work and good observation on the part of the police officers concerned have yielded the detention of one person and uh, the items stolen recovered along with the vehicle use. Among the stolen items was a laptop. The thieves also managed to access a safe and steal an undisclosed amount of cash. I believe yes, there was. They did. They did get into the safe. Um, we have a little bit of. We have some money that was taken. We don't know how much at this time. Like I said, we're still trying to take stock of what exactly was taken. Now, in terms of, and my last question, in terms of security, uh, what kind of additional security, if any, will be put in place just to ensure that, you know, something like this does not reoccur? Um, well, we, we will assess the situation. I don't know. I can't tell you anything at this point. We will assess the situation, and from there we will move on and we will see what can be done to further secure our facilities. Dwayne Muda for News 5.